It's hot in the Sahel, unbearably hot. When the sun's at its highest, the temperature rises to 48 degrees. In West Africa, in Mali and Burkina Faso, the people sing to the trees. For centuries, these farming families have seen trees as a source of life. But trees in this region are now few and far between. Mathieu Odrego argues that planting trees is the way to transform the harsh, degraded land of the Sahel. This green space is what we dream about, this green idyll. And this is our daily struggle to transform the rest of the Sahel like this lowland. Today, Mathieu is on a journey that will take him through the Sahel from Burkina Faso to Mali, across some of the harshest landscapes known to man. Here, life expectancy is only 45 years. Mathieu organizes farmers at a training workshop in Renawa to further the regreening of the Sahel. It's a key activity. This is how farmers learn from each other. The techniques used are simple but effective. One such practice is the digets, low, dry stone walls to retain water and stop rainfall runoff. Creating a digette is backbreaking work. The farmers dig rocks out of the sun-baked ground and then break them down. They'll then have to move the rocks 400 metres to the fields, impossible without a truck. But the truck costs $100 to hire, a huge sum for people living on a dollar a day. Today, Mathieu's training organisation comes to the rescue and pays for the truck. We've had stone lines like this since 1985. We built 15 hectares in the first year. Thanks to these lines, there are no more problems with flooding in the village. So all the rain that falls on the village stays within the lines. It stays there to feed all the plants. It's like a miracle.